Nate, I got a chance to uh, meet Nate when I first came to ECMC um, as we looked for ways to tell our story in the community. Um, and Nate is really a tremendous uh, story um, about hope uh, for trauma patients here at ECMC. Um, Nate had an accident in April of 2000, uh, it was about 10 years ago, the same time that actually our trauma unit uh, was newly renovated. Um, Nate saw a lot of services here at ECMC, from burn to spine to trauma, um, and he has um, taken this second chance on life and lease on life to, to, to build anew. He has a wonderful business, as you can see, a beautiful family uh, who have joined us here today. Um, and, and Nate, again, is what ECMC is all about. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce Nate Smith. Nate. Thank you. Thank you. I began my journey with ECMC on April 16, 2000. Car accident, third degree burns, broken and crushed vertebrae in my neck. I remember the day I woke up after two weeks of nightmares. My mother and father were in their room. My dad quietly told me where I was and why I was here. A machine was breathing for me. A tube was in my nose. I couldn't talk or move. After some time, I could move one arm. And my mother and sister made a board with the alphabet on it, and I could slowly point to letters to communicate. My sister quit her job in Boston, Massachusetts, and moved home for two years to care for me. I remember the sounds and smells and routine of my time here. They are probably similar to other hospitals. But for me and many others, they will always be ECMCs. The clicking and beeping of machines at night, wheels going by, the sound of a curtain sliding back, food trays clacking, oh no, bath time. <laughs> oh good, here's the pain medicine every three hours. Life in the burn unit and trauma unit is day to day, and we had a lot of small, yeah, huge victories here. Removing my tray and feeding tube. Yay, no more smuggling ice into the burn unit. I could have a drink of water. <laughs> Successful grafts. Removing the staples. Going to the bathroom. My first steps. Removing the steel pins from my toes watching the 4th of July fireworks on the elevator lobby on the 8th floor with my family. My time here as an inpatient still to this day feels like a time warp, and not unpleasantly so. It was a little over three months, but it could have been three years. I remember we all looked forward to going home, but discharge came day, discharge day came, and we were afraid to leave. I was wheeled in here on April 16th, about as near to death as one can be, and about three months later, with great effort, I walked out on my own two legs. I remember getting to our van and looking back. I was asked to speak today, so I told you my story. My story, like all stories, is unique. What isn't unique was my experience here at ECMC. I, like thousands of other people, have been wheeled into this place near death and lived to tell of the Miracle House. Miracles do happen every day all around us in this building. ECMC has a pulse and energy. That pulse is the pulse of a mission, and that mission is to help people. I thank God and every human being who has a hand in ECMC's creation and continuation. I thank you all for ECMC. Thank you.